hello hi guys welcome to the channel i hope everyone are doing great i'm also doing good so recently i have performed one of the optimization part and which has improved the my job performance to 15 minutes from 2.5 hours and uh, this is actually basically a small file problem so let me explain you like how i identified it as a small file problem and what are the things that i have changed how to choose the configurations to execute your job in a better and efficient configuration so let first understand the problem so when you come to the uh, problem it is a spark job and it used to run on the daily basis and uh, all of a sudden i have seen this uh, job you know, you know taking the 2.5 hours but it's supposed to complete it in uh, like 30 minutes or so so when i dig into the uh, problem so when i check into the spark ui I have seen that Spark UI is actually, uh, you know, the job is getting stuck at while creating the 4.5 lakh partitions. So this is too hard that 4.5 lakh partitions and it is running almost like, you know, 55 uh, parallel threads. So to running the 55 parallel threads by uh, reading all the 4.5 lakh partitions, it will take a lot of time, right? So then I dig more into it and I see why, why it is creating. Actually, this is creating while reading the job well reading stuff so inside the reading if you see i i see a lot of files with 6 mb 6 mb of file size and uh, it has around you know 4.5 lakh files are available in the source system so this we can consider it as a small file problem this is a small file problem so usually the problems with this small file are like you know if you try to read this 4 lakh 5 partitions it is a more overhead to the driver memory overhead and it's a metadata overhead means it has to remember the metadata for all these 4.5 lakh partitions and uh, the locations the name of the file and everything that it has to uh, store so this is also one of the headache and uh, because of this the job has taken a long time to process so usually when you are reading any of the file from the uh, source location we have one configuration uh, which is nothing but spark sql spark sql files max size bytes max size in uh, bytes we have some configuration available it will be by default 128 mb so it will try to match the 6 mb files uh into 128 mb like up to it will get the 128 mb as a partition and it will read by one task so this will uh, you know to do this operation it will take a, a long time to process so usually uh, by default in spark 2 or spark 3 it will be 128 mb but due to some reason it was not it was not taking this configuration that's the reason we are seeing 4.5 lakh partitions in the uh, spark ui so to avoid that one i have actually increased this partition size from 128 to 256 mb and i have uh, able to process the same job in 15 minutes that was quite surprising right so in this uh, video we can see uh, how we can able to play around this uh, property or the configuration and how we can able to uh, come up with the right number to read uh, the all the small files issue so for that i have simulated one uh, real time issue so uh, let's go ahead and we'll see how we can able to uh, play around this partition we'll see how like how i have come to this number okay so if you like the content please give a like and if you have any doubts please add in the comment section and um, please subscribe to get more videos now we can see the practical implementation like how we can uh, read the small file uh, small files in the spark in a better way in an optimized way okay so now let's see i have a file in uh, my hdfs location it is worth of 10 gp of the file but when i converted into the parquet file format it was around 4.4 gb and uh, it has created almost 2000 files so each of the file uh, size was around uh, 2.3 mb and if you can see it it has uh, like you know if you accept this success file it will be around 2000 files so all the files will be in the same uh, size like you know 2.3 mb okay 
so now let's go ahead and create a spark code how we can able to read these small files and uh, what configuration should we use i'm planning to create a cluster uh, with the default configuration with the executor memory as 2 gb and two cores and two instances and want to disable the dynamic memory allocation because if you enable this dynamic memory allocation it will add the resources dynamically using the runtime statistics uh, so that will change the behavior of the uh, standard job okay so let's go ahead and we'll create a, a spark cluster so it will take some time to create the spark cluster yeah i just created and now we'll see the spark ui so this will be the spark ui and we do not have any job at the moment and you see it just have only one driver and two executors got added okay no other jobs uh, in the cl cluster we have to disable the aqe and broadcast related configuration so disabled it and now by uh, this is the configuration that will be used to combine the small files into uh, larger files so the by default uh, the spark uses the 128 mb as a partition size and that you can verify uh, by checking this configuration so let's go ahead and execute and if you see uh, this uh, this is the value in a bytes that is equal into 128 mb okay so the default partition size will be 128 mb as uh, that is the standard value in the uh, spark 3 okay so now we have the same file uh, that what we have seen earlier and we'll try to go ahead and we'll uh, read this file this is a small file okay executed now we can try to uh, trigger now we can try to trigger an action write action and it has a format of no kind of a simulation that that will act as a write action but it do not write to anything okay so let's go ahead and run this configuration so it actually triggered let's see in the spark ui how this will behave so we just have four cores on uh, total and uh, if you see even the spark uh, configurations each partition has around 9112 mb of storage memory nothing but unified memory so let's go ahead and we'll see on the sql tab so if you see this one it has completed and it has executed in 25 seconds let's see how many partitions that it has created so it has created 96 partitions or 96 uh, tasks totally and input size is 4.4 gb and taken 25 seconds okay so let's go ahead internally and we'll see on the stage level uh, of the partitions like how the uh, you know uh, distribution was happening between the executors yeah these are the exec uh, these are the tasks uh, that you can see almost all of the tasks will use the same size except these four okay so remaining all in the size and approximately it will be 47.3 mb and uh, executor one has executed 52 tasks and executor two has executed 44 tasks here uh, some i know 400 uh, mb of the data was read by the one of the executor okay so approximately two seconds it will take to process the each uh, task okay so let's go ahead and add a matrix here time taken to process it will be 25 seconds and number of partitions uh, that it has created 96 okay so now i'll try to reduce this partition size from 128 mb to 64 mb to see if it uh, really add the performance or not so let's go ahead and run this yeah we set this configuration as 64 uh, mb so now we'll set this uh, partition as 64 mb to see if this increase the performance or will reduce the performance okay so yeah now we set into 64 mb and this is the byte value okay so now go ahead and read the same file and write into the loop format so it will take some time let's go ahead and explore the spark ui yes now query has completed and you see it has taken the 34 seconds and uh, job id is 3 let's go ahead and explore this job to see how many partitions that it has created how the data distribution happened between the executors so this is the job section it currently created 200 partitions and it has taken the 34 seconds let's go ahead and explore in the stage level so this is the stage page and you see each stage is almost equally uh, distributed and uh, are equally distributed in the executor 2 and executor 1 we see some of the data skewness okay so and mostly it will be divided the each uh, partition as like 22.5 mb and uh, it has executor 1 has completed you know 76 tasks and uh, executor 2 has completed 124 tasks okay so one is performed 1.5 
7 GB and one is performed 2.7 GB. So that's how it has completed and each task is approximately taken 0.5 seconds. Let's make a note of it. So time taken to process, it was 34 seconds. And partitions it has created 200. 34 seconds and it is 25 seconds now if you see it has actually uh, increased the performance if we reduce the uh, partition size now we try to increase the partition size from 128 mb to 256 mb and we'll see if still improve the performance or not okay so let's go ahead and make it as 256 mb and this is the byte value for it and i'm reading the file and triggering an action let's go ahead and explore the spark ui okay if you see the third query has completed and it has taken 22 seconds okay bit faster than earlier so let's go ahead and explore the job id and you see this is the task and it has created 49 tasks and the total it has taken 22 seconds let's explore the stage level so now if you see on uh, both executors uh, the equal size of partitions that it has created and don't find any skewness at all right so each partition it has it is making around 92.4 4 and if you see one is completed 25 tasks and one is completed uh, 24 tasks and uh, two seconds is taken to process each task approximately so let's make a note of it so it has completed in 22 seconds and number of partitions is 49 so if you observe one thing if the partitions are less it is taking less time if the partitions are more it is taking more time so now we can try to go ahead and increase the partition size from 256 mb to 512 mb and we'll see if this will add further performance or not let's go ahead yeah we set it into the 512 mb and we'll read the same file and we'll trigger an action so now we'll go to the spark ui and explore the further options so this is the sql section and it has completed a query and you see it has taken around 23 seconds to process it okay so there won't be much performance but improvement but still it is degraded uh, performance by one second compared to earlier the job okay so let's go ahead in the job id level and we'll ex uh, explore further details and we'll see it has created 25 tasks let's explore on the stage level so this is the stage and we'll see in inside the stage we see some partitions are like skewed partitions and first two and last two and remaining are approximately uh, the same right you, now you see each partition has uh, taken around 184 mb okay and one task has completed 12 and one executor completed 12 tasks and one executor completed 13 tasks okay so approximately three seconds or sometimes even five seconds approximately three seconds it has taken to execute so let's note down this matrix so it has taken time around 23 seconds and partitions are 25 partitions so if you observe even if you increase to 512 mb still it has you know degrading the performance the best performance that we have seen with the partition size as 256 mb so now what we can do if you take this median number 512 plus 256 by 2 it will be around 385 so let's make the partition byte as 3, 385 mb and we'll run and we'll see if there is any performance improvement or not okay so let's go ahead and execute and this has set to 385 mb and execute the read command and execute the write command and we'll see the job performance in spark ui yes now the task has completed now if you see this has taken approximately the same as like 23 seconds and uh, let's explore more details on the job level so this is the job section and you see it has created 33 partitions and it has taken 23 seconds so let's explore more details on the stage level so this is the stage and if you see uh, each partition has uh, distributed most of the partitions are like equally distributed partitions except one or two and each partition has occupied around one part 139 mb of in size and it has taken three seconds to process it 
and one executor has completed 16 tasks and another executor has completed 17 tasks now the data has distributed perfectly to each executor like you see 22 2.2 gb and 2.2 gb so let's go ahead and make a note of these details so time taken to process was 23 seconds and number of partitions 33 partitions so now if you understand the performance between all the different partition sizes now you can see this is the most uh, better performance that is 22 seconds so 22 seconds so it will be with the 256 mb as the partition size like if you make the partition size as 256 mb and you go in with the same configuration it has uh you know treat in an optimal way and has taken 22 seconds and 49 as the optimal uh, partition size that it has okay so yeah this is how i have uh, solved that problem horizon the partition size as uh you know 256 mb and i will execute the job and that has completed fast and to solve this kind of a small file problem better you can add more cores so that it will add the more parallel task or parallel thread so that will improve the performance of your job so the conclusion for this video is like uh, now we understand right like how we have to choose the different uh, configurations uh, you know how we have to choose the max partition size and uh, how we can uh, tune it based on the execution time and you also observe like how it has internally created the uh, partitions and the task in the stage section right so you can play around this option uh, if you have a same small file issue and you can try to uh, improve the spark job performance uh, the second solution that i can recommend is uh, it is very easy while writing the data uh, it is very easy while writing the uh, data to the hdfs or na file system you can use something like a repartition or colils repartition or colils uh, to make sure that each file size should be 128 mb and you created the partition so that you'll get rid of these problems thank you guys if you like the video if you like the content please give a like and add a comment if you have any questions in the below and sub do subscribe for more uh, such interesting videos thank you